Hello, I'm back. I'm going to dehydrate some tomatoes. I got my dehydrated tray here. I sprayed it down with this uh, olive oil. I hope that works. And what I do is I put one of the fruit trays underneath it while I'm stacking them so that it doesn't drip through everything. But what I wanted to show you was this knife. This is one of those garage sale knives that I just happened to pick up. The lady wanted a, I think, a, it was either a dime or a quarter for it. I gave her 50 cents, which is still stealing it. Came home, I really just washed it and put it on my uh, steel to sharpen it. It's a good knife. These haven't been peeled. I don't know if I'm supposed to peel them first or not. Nice ripe tomato. Not one of those store-bought things that are green inside and were gas to get them to turn red. I've never dehydrated tomatoes. I don't, I'm not going to mess with these. These are just going back into the compost. Just thought I'd show you that knife. I was kind of impressed with that knife. Since we're talking knives, there's the 50 center. I stopped at a garage sale and they had, I always pick the ones that look good. I mean old. I don't know. I can, I don't know if you can see these. There's four of them there. They had a mark 50 cents a piece and the sale was on the last day and they had 50% uh, off. So I got all four of these for a buck. And it looks like some of them were sharpened on one of those uh, uh, can openers with the grinder on the back. That's a good way to ruin a knife. I'm going to clean these up, straighten up the edges a little bit, and then sharpen them. That in there is nice. Uh, I just thought I'd show them to you. Got the dehydrator filled up with tomatoes. I learned this back when I was doing jerky in it. This bottom one here doesn't have any uh, tomatoes on it. It's just got one of those fruit roll-up things for making fruit leather setting on it so anything that drips down through will land on that rather than the top of my uh, dehydrator. It's easier to clean and soak one of those fruit roll up things than it is the uh, whole dehydrator. So that's what I got going now. I'll let it go and when I get home from work tonight I'll flop them so the top one's on the bottom. And then every, about every 12 hours, I completely shift them over. Once they start really getting dry, then I'll start flipping the tomatoes. At least that's the way I did my jerky and my uh, onions that I was doing. We'll see how they turn out.